Kira Lynn with Hollywood First Look, and I'm sitting down with the filmmaker and the subjects of the documentary Rebel Hearts. Let's take a first look. Hollywood, California, home of a religious order which keeps making headlines. The Immaculate Heart College was alive with highly trained, ambitious women. These ladies were kick ass and kind of subversive. There was a big peace march, and the nuns in the school were marching with us. If you really believe something is wrong, put your body on the line. Good Catholics were not sending their daughters to Immaculate Heart because they felt it was a little dangerous. We certainly brought criticism from the Cardinal. That Cardinal was not going to put up with those uppity women. Cardinal Macter was very powerful in those days. He was the boss. The Immaculate Heart sisters drifted away from authority, and that was really the big problem. <gasps> they thought it was blasphemous. I think he viewed nuns as coolie labor for his schools. Sisters complained about the conditions of their jobs. The Cardinal started censoring the faculty. There were legions of young nuns where all they felt was defeat. We said, we have to stand up and say, this is what we will do. Congratulations on this documentary. I found it fantastic and compelling and just a beautiful piece of uh, documentary cinema. So congratulations. Thank you so much. That means the world to us. Thank you. Andrew, I would love to know what sparked your interest in wanting to do a documentary on the Sisters of the Immaculate Heart of Mary and, you know, the things that they had gone through. Um, Thank you so much. Uh, well, I first I have to uh, to hand it and tip my hat to um, our the project's originator, which is our incredible visionary uh, writer producer Shawnee Isaac Smith, who um, began um, working on this project uh, over 20 years ago, um, and really began um, interviewing these extraordinary women. Uh, in the in the late 90s, or at least early 2000s, and uh, a Shawnee via mutual friend um, got to meet the Immaculate Heart community, got to meet these extraordinary people who are these pioneers um, and these guiding lights, and who um, really began to get their first-hand stories, first-hand accounts. Um, and then in 2015, um, via a, a dear friend and collaborator, um, our other you know, producer, Akira Karstensen, had also fallen in love with the story and approached me. She thought I might respond to, to the story and the story of their perseverance, their faith, their tenacity uh, was a breath of fresh air and really sparked my imagination. Um, and I, you know, I, I think I, I was like, I have to help tell the story. Rosa, I would love to know, you know, I would love to know how being nurtured by the sisters of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, how has that impacted you as an adult? Um, it, it has helped me. It, it's been a blessing and it's been a curse because what I learned from the sisters was how to view the world with eyes that are critical, that comprehend um, how to question authority, how to ask why. And it's a blessing because I, in my life, I've been able to realize, oh, wait a minute, no, 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 no. What's happening here is called manipulation. I better walk away from that. Um, what's being told to me here is a lie, you know, what, whatever. And it's a curse because then a person looks around and says, does no one else see this? What is going on? And I would never give it up for anything in the world. And I've been able to pass it on to my own children. What was it like for you watching this documentary once you know it had actually been finished? What were your first reactions? Well, my first reaction was, um, Joy at seeing Anita, um, Helen Kelly, Pat Reef. I taught at the college, so they were my colleagues. And I was um, part of all of the conflict that was going on. 
and they were our heroes then and they are now. So it was such an experience of um, remembering with gratitude the wonderful women who were our leaders and who spoke um, on our behalf the truth. And um, so I admired them and I loved them. When preparing to enter the community, one of the things um, that we have um, new members, uh, people inquiring, get a chance to see a film, um, the BBC film. And every time I've seen that in the past, it makes me sad. I feel sad. I feel sad because I see um, missed opportunity for the Roman Catholic Church and for women. And I see an oppression that was not fair and it's still going on. This was the first time that I looked at that in all the history um, of McIntyre and the community and the sisters that I felt happy. It, it's like that saying, you know, they, they buried us, but they didn't know we were seeds. You can't keep, you cannot keep the truth um, hiding. You can't hide a light under a bushel. And it, it, I felt really happy about that. You guys, again, this film was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Rebel Hearts will open in select theaters on June 25th and will release on Discovery Plus on June 27th. This is Kira Lynn, and I'll see you next time. Clearly, we were in a boat that needed desperately to be rocked. The Immaculate Heart Sisters taught me you must follow your conscience, even if it goes against what the Pope himself has to say. There's a sense in which we've always been in trouble. <laughs> It was a marvelous statement of women. We did what we thought was right. We did it because we thought it was just.